Welcome back to my Let's Play for The Legend of Shenenja, Genesis Innocence. And I suppose it's time to find our contact. Hmm, you're not Power Rangers, are you? No, of course you're not. It's impossible to miss those guys and their spandex. I'm a member of the Seven Wings, the group dedicated to unseating the current King of Power Rangers. Our headquarters is in this town. We're always looking for new members who will help us in our fight against the mad King of Power Rangers. Let me know if you'd like to join. Our suits are made of PVC, so it's different. <laughs> it has, huh? The Holorex were never particularly mentally stable. They are known for drastic action. This current Holobrek is probably no different than his ancestors. Let's pray that he never realizes how many oppose him in this village, or he'd kill us all. Hmm. Well, this is the place. He's not big on visitors, but that's not a problem with me. Hey, Gregor. It's Tuscany. Come out and see some daylight for the first time this week. Hey, that's not nice. You came outside earlier this week, and you're one to talk, Tuscany. I'm sure you came outside on the first of the week then, and my confinement was unintentional. So I gathered, given that old fool Halbrecht's behavior, so I suppose I know why you're here. You do indeed, old friend. I assume you held on to it and didn't try to re engineer it or anything. Ah, shut up. Of course I've got it. Uh, come on inside, and I'll dig it out for you real quick-like. Well, you better, dwarf. I need them. Whatever it is. <sighs> I guess that's his forge over there. Nice. It's for making swords. Extrace is awesome. I'm not sure about the wheel thing over there, though, but, you know, teach their own. He's really messy, huh? Tea? Who wants to drink tea at a time like this, man? We need Mountain Dew. Well, if any of you consider exactly how we're going to get back to our time period? Uh, not really. To be honest, I don't even know where to start looking. Yeah, well, Tuscany seems resourceful. We could bring it up with him, maybe. Even that's a long shot. What are the odds of time travel machines existing even in this era? I mean, where are you going to find a time traveling steam powered um, train in this era? You know, this isn't Dark Cloud 2. Eh, pretty slim, I'd say. But you're in luck. I just may have what you need. Why would you have a time travel device? Or a time manipulator at all? Like, it seems really plot convenient, to be honest. Yeah, I imagine time travel would be a difficult subject to breach. Oh, it is. In fact, I doubt I could build a machine for free time travel. But what I can invent, and have the workings of already, is a time-space distortion pinpointer. Why would you ever build that? No, seriously, why? Like, who just casually builds a device for pinpointing um, time-space anomalies, you know? Like, you know, let's build this time-space anomaly machine. Maybe one day I'll meet someone from the past that got sent to the future! <laughs> like, seems kind of strange he just casually has been working on one of these, you know? Seems like a setup by the Seraph. I have to wonder if he was manipulating him for years from the shadows to get him working on this so he'd have a way back home when this our adventure was over. Because I doubt it's going to work the first time. It's a device that locates anomalies in the time-space continuum. When you four travel through time, you inevitably caused a rip in the time-space continuum, as your absence from your era made a sort of vacuum. This vacuum desires to be filled once more with your presence. The machine I have been working on simply fills that void. In your cases, that void would be filled with yourselves. It's pretty simple, really. It is pretty simple. Seriously. We were sent into the future, and the past wants us back. 
Because we don't belong in the future. It's trying to send us back to our own time, but it just needs a little help to do so, or it'll eventually catch up with us. As I'm guessing it gets stronger the longer we're here. Yep, we'd just be returning to the exact point that we left. It'd be like we never left at all as a result. Yeah, pretty much. Your adventures here would probably cease to be, though I can't be sure, to be honest. I'm not sure how all this time travel stuff works. It gets really confusing. Yep, that's assuming that time is constant, and that changes do not take time to register. Ah, you speak of the ripple effect. Yeah, it's possible that time travel works that way, or every point and every um, when exists in time, you know? So we got all kinds of alternate timelines we just never get to see. Every time you make a choice, new timeline. To be honest, I haven't even ever had any opportunity to try to find out. Travel here should prove quite useful for that research. What do you mean? If you're going to forget, it'll be like our adventures never happened if we get sent back this way. Wouldn't you just end up back in prison? And we wouldn't be there to help get you out? Well, I finally managed to find it. Here you are, Tuscany, your airship's remote controls. Well, I guess that's everything, then. Thanks for the hospitality, Gregor. I'm heading back to Lucentia. Anytime, Teskey. Try to keep out of, um, the Power Rangers prison system from now on, you know? <laughs> and you try not to catch your beard on fire again, okay? Why, you? That was years ago, and we never talk about when a dwarf sets his beard on fire. I tell you, bring it up again, and it's off with your head. I'll pull out my axe. Ah, oh, lighten up, Gregor. I'm just teasing you. Ah, oh, fine. I knew that. <sighs> Have a safe trip and all that, and get out of my house. All right, let's go. I need to head to this Power Rangers port and command, commandeer my ship. Yeah, we probably should get going before he whips out the axe to try and kill us, you know? For being a super annoying guess. Yep. Alright, here we are. They've blockaded the port. No surprise there. After all, we did escape from prison. They don't want us getting away. So what do we do? Force our way in, maybe? Ha! <laughs> Not even close. I don't call these remote controls for nothing. Watch this. Why are the guards at the front gate just ignoring us? you think they'd be charging us at this point, you know, talking about remote controlling the ship. Oh, crap. The airship's moving all by itself. What the hell, man? Somebody must be trying to steal it. Search the decks, man. And <laughs> now for the real show. Hope those soldiers know how to swim. Ah, son of a donkey. Hold on to something. We're heading for the ocean! Ugh. And now we get on board. With the aid of a teleporter. Looks like we're on a floating island. Weird. Alright, so we're on Lucentia Island. Let's just head into my lab. We landed right next to it. Super convenient, you know? Welcome to my lab, aka my palace retreat. Wow, you've got quite a home. This looks like an outright palace, in fact. Well, that's because it is. I took it over a few years back. It used to be called Wallach Ophan. Ah, uh, so it's been around for a while. Looks like it. In fact, it might even exist in our time. Eh, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm not sure how old this thing is, though. Anyway, let's get to getting you four back to your proper time period. Before you last, I wanted to ask you a question, Tessie. Why did the Power Rangers put you in prison? Ah, uh, well, to explain that, I'd have to tell you quite a bit about what I do for a living. I'm an inventor by trade, you see, and I'm quite famous, to be honest. 
Thanks to my development of the Magic Drive, which allows this entire island to fly in the sky. Yes, I created a flying island with a Magic Drive. That's just what you do, you know, for casual kicks. That's why I worked on time travel devices and stuff too, you know. Yeah, I thought it was how we were on so high up in the air. Anyway, go on. I brought this island up at the request of the King of Azeroth. Oh, I'm sorry. Azeroth. Azeroth would sound better, though. I'm sure that comes from somewhere. <sighs> he did, huh? So your last name's Lucentia? <laughs> well, it's more noble than some of the other names we've run into. This island was called Grand Sentia before, you see. Anyway, the King of Sauron just heard of my feats and commissioned my help. But his goal was insane. He wanted to lift the entire Power Ranger continent out of the ocean. I refused him. That's something to do with putting like a giant latex suit on top of it or something. Because, you know, he couldn't get enough spandex. It was just creepy. And I said no. And then he threw me in prison over it. And, you know, that's when you found me. Plus, you know, they're going to execute me over it. Eh. Fortunately, I've been expecting partners to pull something like this, so I had given Gregor my airship remote controls just in case. The rest you already know, and now we're here. Any questions? I have one. Why did you try to escape sooner? Oh, come on, that should be obvious. One man against an entire garrison of prison guards? That's insane. Do I look like Hercules to you? <sighs> Not even with all the explosives I had built could I have s survived, no. I knew I had to hope for a streak of luck, and how oh boy did I get it. Yeah, quite the lucky encounter, wasn't it? I wonder if it was part of Sarah's plans that we save you. It's possible. If not, it would have been, to been the most remarkable coincidence ever. It's obvious we were meant to save Tuscany, isn't it? I mean, think about this. Without testing his help, how would we ever get back to 2042? Who else in the world has invented a device that can take us back? Dolomus has a good paint. It'd be meaningless to leave us stranded in the future, after all. Wheels within wheels. Sounds like a theory around Star Wars, man. It really does. I think I've heard of it before. I don't really want to go into the details of that. I'm not really an expert on it. Uh, probably more going on than we know. And honestly, I probably don't want to know in some cases. Cut left corner, eh? What the? Oh, sorry. I got my finger on the wrong buttons. I'd slid over um, a space. Well, top left, all right. All right, here it is. Should only take me a day or two to get this thing working, hopefully. A day or two? What are we supposed to do with a day or two? Hey, calm down. It's not like I can't just... not like I can just flip a, flip a switch and take you home, man. Told you back at Gregor's house. The machine's still not finished. It's almost done, though. Be glad for that. The main chassis took me almost two months to design, and another two weeks to build it. Ah, I see. Well, when you put it that way, two days is pretty reasonable. <sighs> is there much to do here, though? It's gonna be pretty boring two days if we just, just spend our time idling. Well, I've got some books on the north wall of this tower if you want, though, you're, though they're pretty complicated. I'd assume so if you're building a device that can mess with time. I suppose. Ah. Life of the party, that one. Anyway, I have to get to work on the machine now, so... Well, shall we sit down? No sense in just standing here. Well, at least we'll be getting back home soon. Yeah! Hmm... 
damn, this is boring. Hey, Dalmus. Yes, Tamara? Um, have you thought about what you'll do once we get back home? Of course, Trench Act still needs to be finished. Why? Oh, um, no reason. What was that about? You really don't know? Or I ask if I did, how am I supposed to know? Afraid of roll risk, you're hopeless. I don't think I'm going to bother telling you. Jeez. Thanks, Yoko. See if I ever do anything nice for you then. Tamara's crying. Did you say something to offend her, Dalmus? Well, no, she asked me what I was going to do when we got back, and I told her. I see. Hmm, interesting. She must not have liked your answer. Nothing, nothing's wrong. You need to fulfill your goals, and I have to fulfill mine. You, you don't understand? Damn, you're dense as, tense as a rock, man. You really can't tell? I'm not psychic, Tamara. You know I'm not good at reading into people's emotions. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I've known that for years. And by be with you, she means a lot more than that. Yeah, what about your career? Huh. Yeah, yeah, she did. When I was young, I wanted to explore the world and live free. But as I grew up, I came to realize that it'd be meaningless to do all that without you, my best friend, Dalmas Trentak. Ah, uh, childhood romance. And she chose to stay with us, and she's still going to get that wildlife, because let's face it, there's no way this is going to be this easy. <sighs> yep, you can't read into people's emotions at all. That was about as much emotional death as a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah, she is, you idiot. Yeah, you better feel like an idiot. Ah, uh, can we just move on? This is starting to feel really forced, you know? Wow, what an event. I suppose they did. Ah, young love. Well, I'm glad you two have figured out your feelings for one another. You could, huh? Well, don't let us bug you. Hey, you two have free reign of the palace. We'll stay in here. Hmm, nothing. That's none of my business anyway. There's a broom closet downstairs, though. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, thanks, everyone. Two days later. Well, it's up and running. Just jump into that portal and you should be taken back to your time. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Tuscany. We'll never forget you. And if time works the way I hope it does, I'll never forget you either. Take care of yourselves. Why? Something for me in the past. If I go back, I'll never be able to live my life as I once did. I don't care about the space time continuum. Oh, it's for me in ten miles a lot of trouble. Dallas, Terra, you should know this before you go. I was the right hand woman to the leader of Ten Mai's military. But that's illegal, I know. But I don't care. I'm not going back. I feel no regret in telling you this. Ten Mai is playing an invasion of Windus through their puppet states. The Holy Empire of Power Rangers. But it's not all of Ten Mai. 
There's a single general who's leading the rebellion, a man who calls himself the Death Minion. He's the one you need to stop. Thank you, Yoku. We'll tell Sky about him. Are you sure? If I go back, I'll have to rejoin Death Minion. I'll be your enemy if that happens. If I betray Death Minion and side with Vindus, he'll see to it that I don't live out the war. No, I'm better off here. Can I have my gear back at least? Well, this is unexpected, but no matter. It's probably for the best in Yoko's case. Yeah, we really do. It is, huh? Indeed, but for a time at least, we need not worry about the future. Hey, this isn't where we were. Uh, I don't know. Time travel is way too complicated for me to fully grasp. Our journey together ends here. I'll be going now. I suppose we do. <sighs> Two months later. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is, huh? Well, that building's not completed yet. Well, now. I suppose it is. Not that I can really tell. I don't can't see the sunset. Or sunrise, I should say. Jeez. Not too bad, though I think you'd know that after last night. <laughs> Cal loved the peaceful life. Excuse me, Mayor Dalmus. Yes, what is it? I have a report here from Vindus. I was told to instruct you to read it immediately. Really? Probably an expense report. Alright, thanks. You can go now. Yes, sir. By your leave. Let's see. What is it, Dalmus? Another expense report? No, it's a mandate from your father. He's sending us on a dispatch. A dispatch to where and why? It says we're going to go to the towns of Neva, Nevi, and Ronkai. We're to get two representatives, one Vals Mido and one Ingetsu. There's no explanation of why, only that the mission is top priority. Think that the Dragonites are going to start their campaign to halt Sentai now? It seems likely. Uh, there's more in the letter. What? What's wrong, Thomas? Well, this explains the order. Power Rangers have started a blockade around all of Vindus and Ten Mai's oceans. A blockade? Oh no! The Dragonites ch used to act too late on our information? That can't be, Tamara. Sky is always alert! No. This is the Power Rangers' response to our awareness of their intentions. They're trying to cut us off from our allies elsewhere in Shenenja. So that's why we're being sent. They must not have blockaded off Nevea or Ronkai yet. Undoubtedly. Let's get going then. We need to go to Mobius first. We've been instructed to commandeer the Mobius Ferry in order to sail to Nevea and Ronkai. Okay. Well, it's not like we got anyone else to put in the party. I'm going to be stopping here for now. Until next time, then. See ya.